Hey everybody, Colnar here. Welcome back to more NCAA Football 2004. In the last episode, we destroyed NC State 92-14, to showing that the ACC is not very good at football. <coughs> Excuse me. In this episode, we're going to go up against Bowling Green from the Mid-American Conference. As we play, um... As we play our final, um non-conference game of the season until probably like bowl bowl week <coughs> <coughs> and also excuse me if I cough a lot during this game um, something's going on I don't know what but hopefully I've got water here with me so hopefully I can end all this coughing with uh, with water but anyways, let's get down to it. Ohio State and Bowling Green. Let's go. And our key players are Craig Krenzel, Michael Jenkins, and AJ Hawk. Sweet. And Bowling Green is ranked 97th. Wow. They're like 20 spots away from 117, and that's like last place. And the quarterback Kirk Herbstreit. And here comes Bowling Green as they run slowly and then they run fast. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Oh, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty ugly. Ohio State has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career day. You're 100% correct. Bowling Green is going to have a hard time moving the ball against this attacking defense. I'd be surprised if they scored one touchdown in this game. They're going to lose this one big. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the corner. Yeah, it's raining a little bit. All right, I won the toss. And let's kick it off. <coughs> <coughs> Teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He boots it deep downfield. They'll get the ball here at the 20. First and 10 for Bowling Green. Lines up in a shotgun set. Here comes the defense, and it's picked off by Will Allen. Wow. Oh, boy. Ari's, all, we're already starting this game off with a bang. <coughs> As Will Allen just intercepted that pass. Amazing. It allows you to intercept those passes from the quarterback. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position. And here. we gotta hurry because oh no, I'm about to get delayed game. Billy of course. They took too much time. like they might have been a little bit late getting the play in, and it results in a delay of game. First down and 15 to go. Ball on the 26. Back to I am looking, throwing to Michael Jenkins. He's gone. Oh. Couldn't quite hang on to that. He had it, and then he dropped it. Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. He drops back. Looking Throwing to Chris Gamble this time. <clears throat> and incomplete. A lost opportunity there. 
you have a chance to make an interception in the end zone, you got to make the play. He could have ended that scoring drive right there. But and we're 92nd in third down conversions. Okay. Bowling Green comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He's going to run it and didn't end up well. there. Okay, I make I need to make good on this interception, so I'm going for it on fourth down. The Falcons bring in their dive package. Gonna throw to Chris Gamble. He's caught it. Touchdown. <laughs> I knew I needed to capitalize on that interception. Now Mike Nugent will attempt the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. And it's good. A lot of game left. Four minutes remaining in the quarter. And our score, Ohio State 7, Bowling Green nothing. Number 85, ready to kick. Number 36 and number 35 back deep to return. Here's the kick. And here come the Buckeyes, and they are tackling Bowling Green. Down at the 19-yard line. They'll start this drive at the 19. They come out in a five-wide set. <coughs> Down in the back. That was easy. Drop back a yard. <coughs> Ohio State, <coughs> one of the toughest defenses we've seen. And as you can see, I got the number one defense in the country. What they've done so far. Some very impressive numbers. Now this attacking defense is very, very athletic, and they're also well coached. That's why they're in the top ten. And it's intercepted by Will Allen again. Unbelievable. Let's take another look at that interception. Five just completely messed up there. Looking, oh, almost got sacked, throwing a gamble, touchdown! Unbelievable. What a touchdown. That is amazing, seriously. That was beautiful. And I kicked the field goal and it's good. It's the PAT. With less than four minutes to go in the first, the score, Ohio State 14, Bowling Green nothing. Number 85 is lined up to kick this one off. Number 36 and number 35 back ready to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 36 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around forcing the interception. And now they'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or do they let her rip? So all Bowling Green has done is throw an interception to us. And I've always capitalized on him and oh! Interception number three would have been great, but uh, no, Dustin Fox just batted it down. He's to look at his progression and third receiver. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. They'll run the option. Oh, and they fumble, but they get the ball back. Looks like the offense recover the loose ball. There's a lot of risk reward when you run the option. Sometimes you hit big, and sometimes you fall flat on your face. Well, Coach, that was one of those times where they fell flat on their face. Luckily, they'll get another shot at it because they've maintained possession. Back to pass. And he sacked AJ Hawk. You cannot escape him. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. 
Now Bowling Green will punt this away. Gamble to receive the kick. Hold the punt. And tackled under the behind the 40. <coughs> and remember last time how I went silly with the Hail Marys? Well, we're going silly with them again. Excellent field position to start the drive. Ohio State lines up in a shotgun set. Going to throw it to Drew Carter, but it's incomplete. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Ohio State sets up. And the lead toss does not work. And Bowling Green. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Face mask on the defense. I'll accept the penalty. He got caught with his hands around the face mask. Yeah, but the referees felt it was an accident, so they only charge him with a five yard penalty. Third and five. Ball on the 36 yard line. Third and five here. Is back in the gun. He drops back. Looking. I'm throwing a Hail Mary. Gonna throw it to Chris Gamble. He's got it. He's in. Touchdown, Ohio State. on the extra point over two minutes remaining in the first quarter the score is Ohio State 21 Bowling Green nothing number 85 is lined up to kick this one off he kicks it off and he got all of that one number 36 fields it in the end zone not a whole lot of success there last time out at all this offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their hmm, Notre Dame beat Michigan State shocking Ohio State may have trouble covering the five wide receivers on the field as they come out in a 44 defense. Intercepted this time. It's Chris Gamble with the interception. <laughs> Man, that is funny. And eh, why not go for a Hail Mary? Throwing to Drew Carter, and he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Had some trouble defending that one, though. Hey, this is just a great play by the offense, Brad. <coughs> oh, man, oh, man. And he hits the PAT. Over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. The score is Ohio State 28, Bowling Green nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it. Number 36 fields it at the two. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. Number five with three wide receivers. And taken down by Fred. That's a great effort by the defense. Number 46. Anytime you can get into the backfield and disrupt the timing of a run like this, you're going to come up with a big stop. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. He'll get the call again. And down he goes. And flag on the play. Let's see what it's all about. Face mask on us. By Fred. Are you kidding me? And that's going to be a face mask, but only a five yard call. With all the chaos that happens on the field, sometimes a tackler accidentally grabs a face mask. They come out with four linebackers. the ground with the tailback and he's taken down 
Albuquerque managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yeah, good effort there by the Wow, UCLA upset Oklahoma. Yeesh. I guess Oklahoma's not as good as I thought they would be in this game. Ace backfield. Inside give. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. They'll use a 4-4 defense. Here. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. A couple of yards there. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They come out with four linebackers. He drops back. Here comes the and sacked by Fred. Yay. The Falcons line up the punt. Number 40 gets it off. Number seven takes it to the 43. Spins up field. Oh boy. <clears throat> He's losing I'm not finding any any holes here. <coughs> oh boy. I know I waste a lot of time on that one. I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback, please. They'll take over at the 43 yard line. Let's see if I can get another touchdown before the half's over. Looking, gonna throw to Michael Jenkins. He got blocked by the ref, but it doesn't matter. Touchdown, Ohio State. Finally got Michael Jenkins up on the board. This is really a good looking throw by the quarterback and a nice catch too. They were definitely on the same page there. Tacks on the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Ohio State 35. Bowling Green, nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Number 36. Fields it <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, did I just see that team up north scoring 62 points on somebody? Oh boy. That could be in for a long season, folks. Bowling Green comes out in the shotgun. And he's taken down. No game. So it's second and ten. And that's the end of the first quarter. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Ohio State 35. Bowling Green, nothing. And right now I'm shutting out Bowling Green. Second and ten. Ball on the twenty. Bowling Green comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Pressure coming. Look out. And it's and sacked nice or incomplete. Oh, okay. Oh well. Third down and ten. Third and ten. For Bowling Green. He drops back. Throws incomplete. incomplete and he overthrew that one badly. Whoa. The receiver's fast, but he's not that fast. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number seven fields at 46. Wow. Not a whole lot on the return. Well, I look at it this way. You didn't fumble, and he didn't lose yardage. What more could you ask for? Okay, so I'm at my own 50. Well, I'm actually at midfield. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Six DBs in the lineup. They'll throw on first down. Gonna throw deep to Drew Carter, and he's caught it. He's almost... Oh, he's actually had the five. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. <clears throat> First down. You drop back the pass and see zone. It's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right Now it's time to run the ball in for a touchdown. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? 
Frenzel hands it off to Lydell Ross, and Ross in for the touchdown. <coughs> he just punches his way in for six. And now Mike Nugent will attempt the extra point. And the kick is good. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Ohio State 42, Bowling Green nothing. Number 85 ready to kick. Number 36 and number 35 deep to return. He hits a booming kick. Number 35 fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe Scooter, you need to get out there and show what you're made of. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. Number five comes to the line with three wide. And A.J. Hawks sacks him. The, sack. the most dangerous man. It's second down and a long ways to go. <laughs> in the Big Ten. And all in all of college football, AJ Hawk. Line up with three wide. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. And down he goes at the 22 yard line. I'd like to say one thing. The reason they were able to get something out of this play is the fact that the quarterback had time to get rid of the football. Good job up front by the offensive line. And don't forget the nice play by the running back as well. Bowling Green comes out in the shotgun. Complete. And he's taken down at the 28. And they're stopped short of the goal line. I mean, the first down mark or whatever. And Chris Gamble will be back deep to return. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Punts the ball away. Chris Gamble, he's got a blocker. He's going to spin move, but in the wrong direction. And we're in our own. We're in. Um. Uh, Bowling Green's own 40-yard line. And they'll look to capitalize on a good field. And we're about to throw a Hail Mary. Krenzel back to pass. Throws to Bam Childress wide open. And he's brought down near the one. And with that last throw, he's now gone over 200 yards in the half. Dang, 200 yards already in a half? That's crazy. Let's see if they can get it in for the touchdown. And touchdown, Lydell Ross. And he manages to find the end zone for the second time this half. And you know what? Let's go for two. As you can see, we're number one for two point conversions. And that was just easy. He's in for the conversion. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Ohio State 50, Bowling Green nothing. He kicks it. Number 35 fields it in the end zone. The offense gets ready to start a new drive. They just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shot at the 20-yard line. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. A little handoff. And down he goes. Didn't get anything. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20. Bowling Green lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. <laughs> Incomplete. Couldn't hang on to it. Oh, man, he was all alone. Brad, it was a perfect pass. How he didn't make that catch is beyond me. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Number five. And here comes the defense, and again, Bowling Green couldn't hang on to the pass. Tight hands are all torn up, and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about And Chris Gamble back deep to return the punt. 
This is going to be his fifth return. He's averaging 11 yards today, so that's pretty good. Number seven takes it at the 45. He spin moves. Chris Gamble. He could go all the way, but he's out of bounds inside the 25. And great field position to start our drive. And you know what we're doing. We're going to Hail Mary this thing. <laughs> going to throw to Drew Carter and incomplete. That time the wideout just got too excited, too quickly, and forgot to catch the football. Boy, Lee, we continue to see this. It looked like he was ready to celebrate before he caught it. Let's do a hatback sprint. It's second down. Try to curve our throwing abilities. Lionel Ross gets the handoff, spin moves, and he gets a first down. And he's taken down. And he busts a big one on this defense. When his halfback is running the ball, I'd put a few more guys in the box there defensively to try to stop him. And Lionel Ross, he's going to run it in for a touchdown. <coughs> and that's his third touchdown of the day. And you know what we're going to do. We're going to go for two. Because why not? Well, I thought we'd see the kicking unit, but they're lining up for two. And we got the two. He's in for two. So with just over two minutes left in the second quarter, our score, Ohio State 58, Bowling Green nothing. Ohio State lines up for the kickoff. Kicks it deep. And Bowling Green takes the knee. Exactly. He was three out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap. They'll get the ball here at the 20. Number 33 is the single setback. They'll give it off here. And down he goes at the 23. And Bowling Green will call their first timeout of the game. Two minutes to go in the half. Don't know why that, but okay. He drops back. He's under pressure. Oh, avoids a sack, but then he got sacked. Man. 54 sacked him. That was beautiful. That was Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson with the sack. And it's third down and 20. If they lose another 10 yards, it's a safety. They're going to hand it off and nowhere to go. Fourth and 20. And they're going to punt. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. Number 40 gets it off. Number 7 takes it to 43. Move. All right. And they take over after a nice punch We're run. near the 30. That's good. And and you know what it's all about. It's all about the Hail Mary. They'll take over at the 31. Ohio State in a four wide set. He's looking. Throwing to Jenkins and I got picked off. Wow. First interception of the game goes to Bowling Green. Well, not really. But they finally got an interception. Great. So first turnover of the game for me. It's first and ten. Ball on the seventh. <coughs> and somehow Bowling Green picked me off, which is so wrong. It's like they want to make a comeback. But guess what? They got tackled for a loss on the play. And they lose a couple there. Second down and twelve. Second and twelve. The Falcon set up in the gun. Uh 
Drop back to pass. He's going right. Got it. And down he goes. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen. Wow. The defense brings extra guys. Don't know what that was all about. The will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. And this kid is talented enough to see those receivers. It's not easy to get the ball past those big bulldozers when they're flying right at you. And Bowling Green doesn't decide to run another play. And it's wow. total dominance here in the first half. Our score, Ohio State 58, Bowling Green nothing. Yep. And you know what? I think it's time for me to give Craig a break. Craig Grenzel a little break. So, in for him is going to be Troy Smith. So, I'm going to be putting Troy Smith into the game. Uh, I'm going to keep Lydell Ross there. Wide receivers, uh... You know what? Let's get uh, let's get San Antonio Holmes out there. So he will be replacing Bam Childress. And I think we'll be I think we'll be okay. <laughs> so San Antonio Holmes will be coming into the game and we'll begin to see his fresh moves and Gamble ooh, got hit hard so before the offense hits the field let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports yeah Hail Mary so Troy Smith into the game Ohio State comes out in the shotgun. And so Antonio Holmes number four is there. I'm gonna throw it to him. And it's incomplete. They threw the ball into cover. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. Second and ten. Ball on their own twenty-eight. Troy Smith's going to pitch it off to Lydell Ross. And Lydell Ross, he's got a few yards and more. And he's taken down. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their block. Now let's try Hail Mary again. Breakthrough for some big yards. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Bowling Green brings in their nickel package. He drops back. Throwing to San Antonio Holmes, and it's too much. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. <coughs> Excuse me. Ball on their own 45. Smith's going to pitch it to Lydell Ross again. And nothing there. And he stopped behind the line. He didn't really have a chance on that play. Boy, guys, how about the okay, on let's go play? back to the Hail Mary. Out from the start. Third down, 13. This is the fifth play of this drive. From the gun. Drop back to pass. Gonna throw to Drew Carter. And it's tipped and incomplete. So fourth down coming up. Yeah, might as well punt it. They played very disciplined and were able to break up. And I'm actually punting this time. I'm not going for anything silly here. And they're ready to punt this one away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 35 takes it to 12. Man, that was a nice little punt return there. Well, Brad, that was a combination of a couple. Alright, he's down at the 21. Blocks, but That's also good. The ability to avoid the coverage team by the return man. They'll set up shot at the 21. Number 33, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Oni oh, lost the football. And Will Smith recovers it. Awesome. Finally got a fumble recovery. <coughs> They're on the right side of and now we're going to Hail Mary this. Bowling Green Throwing it to San Antonio Holmes, and it's incomplete. That 
should have been a touchdown. You're absolutely right. When you're in the end zone as a receiver, you have to make the catch. There's nowhere else to go. Focus on catching the ball. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. And handing off to Lydell Ross. And Lydell Ross, he's fighting for that first down marker. About eight yards there. Defense lines up with eight men in the box. First down. And they get it up on the ground for the first. Okay, we're going to do a rollout with the tight ends here. Tight ends in there for this goal line play. Back to pass. Throwing it to Ben Hartsock. Touchdown, Ohio State. And that's the first touchdown pass for Troy Smith. Wait, did I just say field goal? Timeout. I don't want a field goal. Let's go for a two-point conversion. Because I don't want to have, you know, field goals. I'd kick the point after in this situation. And he's in for two. Booyah. So with just over three minutes remaining in the third quarter, our score, Ohio State, 66. Bowling Green, nothing. 66 to zero. Just total domination. Number 36 fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next position. First and 10. Ball on their own 20. They'll use a 4 4 defense here. Got hit, and it's still a catchable ball for some reason. I don't know why. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receivers. Number five has four receivers lined up here. He spins around, and he's taken down. A one-yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 37. The Falcon come out the shotgun. He finds his receiver, and down he goes at the 49. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. They're lining up in the 5-2. They'll throw on first down. It's caught, and he's taken down. Well, they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Can we please get a stop here? How is Bowling Green giving us a tough time right now? Bowling Green <coughs> sets up with four receivers. He drops back. He's looking down the middle. Ah, oh, almost picked off by Chris Gamble. We get third and three here. And this is the sixth play of the drive. They'll use a 4-4 defense here. On the ground with the tailback. And down he goes. Just a hair short of the first down line. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it away. Gamble has the ball, and he's going to be down at the five. So they end up losing yardage on the punt return. Oh, we're down at the seven. That's fine. You end up hurting your team in the long run. They'll start this drive at the seven-yard line. Bowling Green. Comes out defensively with six defensive backs. All right, gonna throw it to Santonio Holmes. That's incomplete. They couldn't hook up on that one. That ball was off the mark, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's get back to 
six. Hey, coach, this guy looks like he's got his adrenaline flowing out there. He's a little bit too excited. Come on, Kirk. We almost caught that one. Drop back to pass. Rolls right. Throws into San Antonio Holmes again, and it's no good. Incomplete. Was that the same pass play again? It wasn't. It sure looked like it. Third and ten. Okay, San Antonio Holmes this time is going to make a cut a little. Going to throw it to him. And it's batted and it's incomplete. I don't think the offense was on the same page on that drive. It's and I gotta go punt this away. <coughs> PJ Sander to punt this one away. There's the punt. It's a line drive. And here comes Dustin Fox to tackle. A Bowling Green returner. Yeah, in situations like that, Brad, it's probably best if you just call for a fair catch. They'll take over at the 46. Bowling Green lines up in a shotgun set. Complete. And he's taken down. They couldn't get much out of that one. I loved how that defense just swarmed their ball the second it was thrown. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 48. Number five is back in the gun. And down he goes. Couldn't get anything out of that. Third and eight. Ball on the 48 yard line. Bowling Green sets up with four receivers. Tipped and it's incomplete. good decision he's got to either throw this one away or take a sack you don't want to go back to the sideline and have a discussion with the old ball coach Chris that Campbell back deep to return number 40 gets it off and Gamble's gonna run this he's got some blockers he fumbled it out of bounds so I'll be down at the 32 can we get something working here? Can we please get a ball into into San Antonio Holmes' hands? Throw into San Antonio Holmes and it's incomplete. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one, Brad. He needs a little bit more touch in those passes and let the receivers go get it. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 32. Ohio State sets up with four receivers. Thrown to Santonio Holmes again. And he's finally got one. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. Ohio State's leading 66 to 0. Which I like. I like leading 66 to 0. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30. From the gun. He back. He's looking. looking. He steps up. Can't find a receiver. We're gonna throw it. And it's intercepted. And they drop it. And it's oh my Oh my god, what just happened? I got picked off. He drops the football and it's recovered for a touchdown. Hold on. We gotta see an instant replay. Okay, so here it is. Back deep to throw. Can't find a receiver open. And then I throw the ball. Picked off by Bowling Green. It's somehow stripped by Santonio Holmes. And Drew Carter recovers it in the end zone for a touchdown. Oh my god. What a play by Santonio Holmes stripping the football. And then Drew Carter getting on top of it for the touchdown. Embarrassing the way this offense is operating. They really had their way with these guys. And two point conversion is good. So a turnover becomes another turnover and then leads to a touchdown. Okay. So I turned over the ball, then Bowling Green turned over the ball again, thus leading for a touchdown. Oh my god, that has to be one of the most craziest plays I've ever seen in this game. Now, if you remember NCAA football 2003 on how I got, like, back-to-back -back fumble recoveries for touchdowns against San Jose State, 
That had to be the craziest thing I've ever seen in that game. Like, seriously. I have seen so many crazy plays in these games. It's just fun and entertaining. And Darian Scott was like, nope, you ain't, you ain't going nowhere. <coughs> Need more water, but I think I'll take it water break Ohio after this play. Did I choose Matt Robber? Yes, I did. And nowhere to go for the quarterback. He just spun into a tackle. Wow, Colorado's own four. <laughs> Yeesh. Notre Dame just destroyed Michigan State. Ow. 56 to 10. Oof. So I guess Michigan State's going to be easy for us since uh, Big Ten play could be a little bit easy. And it's almost picked off by Chris Gamble again. And now Chris Gamble will be back deep to return. He's about to have, have his ninth return of the day. It's fourth down, and the punt team lines up. Number seven fields at the fifty. And yet yeah, that was not good. And he gets just a little on the return. That time the coverage just had too much speed. They were all over. Yeah, good downfield pursuit there. Excellent field position to start the drive. Troy Smith looking, almost getting sacked, avoids it, throws to Santonio Holmes, and he's got him. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does, and he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Let's go with halfback circle now. It's first and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. They'll throw on first down. Going to throw to Lytle Ross, and it's incomplete. Almost had it. He let his halfback too far on that throw. This kid needs to relax and get the ball down where his receivers can catch it. So it's second and ten. Second and ten for the Buckeyes. Hands it off to Lytle Ross, and he's only getting... And he's taken down. A one-yard game. He's getting one yard, okay. High formation... Nah, let's go pro formation. Let's go with slant. Slant should work. For two for five in third down conversions. Better than Bowling Green, though. They're at 10%. We're at 40. Gonna throw to Ben Hartsock, and it's incomplete. So thus, we have to kick a field goal. So we'll be up 77 to 0. I mean, it's not that bad. Being up 77 to 0 ain't that bad. I mean, what could actually happen to us? I mean, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It's incomplete. Uh, I took a risk with it. Because look, Craig Krenzel, he had Ryan Hamby so open, but he got sacked and Hamby wasn't there enough. Thus, we turn it over on downs. Set up shot at the 15. But they have crappy field position. Bowling Green has terrible field position. And up, oh, they got a new quarterback number here. It's number down. four. And number four is about to meet A.J. Hawk. A.J. Hawk has now met both of the Bowling Green quarterbacks. And now they're down at their own nine. Second and 16. They must have put their second string in already. And A.J. Hawk almost got him an incomplete pass. And a sack by number 54, Tim Anderson. And now Bowling Green will have to punt this one away from the back of their own end zone. Alright, we're in the 40. Looking for some field position. Gamble. He see he spin moves and he's 
almost at the 15 yard line. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen. That was a good return. And you know what? We're going Hail Mary again. Why? Because why not? All right, Lydell Ross is in the Hail Mary position. Looking, throwing to Lydell Ross. He's got it. Inside the five. And Troy Smith starting to warm up here. Hands it off to Ross, and he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. It's now 80 to zero. And two point conversion is good. Great kick by Mike Nugent. Number 35 fields it in the end zone. And they're down so the somewhere. The they had the ball. They're down at the 16. Okay. So this gives us more time to the sack them all the way in their own end zone, possibly. Three wide outs here. Inside give. And nowhere to go. That run play was unsuccessful. So it's second and 12 on their own 14. They come out with four linebackers. And only one yard. So they're down at their own 15, third and 11. They're not really trying to throw the ball. I wonder why. Number four with four wide receivers. Now they're going to go throw this one. Seems they want to chew some of the clock out. Throws, it's caught, and nowhere to go. Only three yards on that play. And I will call my second timeout, leaving only one timeout remaining. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He gets it off. Okay, I'm going to Chris Campbell receives it behind the 50. And now he's running. He's downfield. He could go all the way, but he's out of bounds near the 14, I believe. Or is he at the 14? He's at the 14 yard line. Did you see how he hit that opening? Yeah, when he saw that hole, wow. He ran right through it. I thought he had a good chance to go all the way there. Now it's time for a PA flat. They'll go to work at the 14 yard line. Gets the ball. Gonna throw it to Chris Gamble, and he's got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Another touchdown pass for Troy Smith. And we're going to go for two again, and our first failure at a two-point conversion. Good job, Bowling Green. You, you achieved something today. You achieved something great today. It might not be a W, but you achieved us in stopping our two-point conversion streak. <coughs> oh, he touched it. That should have been a safety. But nope, the game cheats me. It always cheats me. It should have been a safety. I wonder if these refs are being paid off by somebody. I don't know. Probably not. You're probably like, Colton, this is a game. The refs can't be paid off. Well, if there was an option to pay off the refs, there, there could have been. And oh, there's a fumble! Ohio State recovers and it's Will Allen! Wow! So he's had tackles, fumble recoveries, and an interception. Two of them, in fact. And wow. Ain't this... Ain't this just great for Bowling Green? They're probably like, wow. We are falling apart. Fakes the handoff. Gonna throw it to Chris Gamble. He was open, but incomplete. Threw into coverage. 
Did you see how that safety played that ball? That was a beautiful play. Second and ten. Ball on the seventeen. Balls on seventeen again. Fakes the handoff. Can't find a receiver thrown into Michael Jenkins. It's incomplete. And Chris Gamble is the player of the game with a tackle for a loss, interception, and a couple of touchdowns. Throwing to Chris Gamble again, and it's incomplete. You know what? It's the last few seconds. Do whatever you want. I'm going for it. Let's go with slants. They'll bring in their dime pack. Here we go. Gonna throw to Chris Gamble. He's got it. He's in for touchdown. Booyah. Ninety-four to zero, people. This is a beatdown. And two-point conversion is good. So it's 96 to zero. And Bowling Green will be Ohio State's first ever shutout of the season. Man, conference play is going to be very interesting. So Bowling Green will have one more play to run here. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Number four comes to the line with three wide. And they're going to hand it off to end the game. Wait, nope. Psych, you thought. <laughs> I called timeout, so I'm letting them run one more play. Because why not? I'm just being nice. Oh, and they went with the option. That, uh... That failed. Wow, I timed out for them being nice and they failed. Okay, whatever. And that's the game. I win 96 to 0. Let's go. And that's the end of the game. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? I can't say enough about this performance. Ohio State looked like a team on a mission to destroy anything and everything that got in their way. Brad, this is a really good-looking football team. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2004. Our final score, Ohio State, 96. Bowling Green, nothing. For Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreet, and everyone at EA Sports, I'm Brad Nessler saying goodbye and see you next time. Whoops, I had my phone going off. Sorry if I had my phone going off. I was looking at something on Twitter. But anyways, uh, I win 96-0. Youch. Players of the game. Well, today's key players. Um, Chris Gamble, Lydell Ross, and Craig Grenzel. Cool, level 73 EA Sports Gamer. Sure, why not? Let's save. I have nothing else to do. And no, I'll save that later. So let's simulate through week five. Wow, Toledo upset Pittsburgh. A mid-American conference team upset number <laughs> number six Pittsburgh. Wait, were they number six? Hold on. I have to, I have to see that. I have to see. Pittsburgh, where were you? They were six and Toledo upset them. And now they're 18th. <laughs> That's funny. And now Florida State went up a spot. And nothing much has changed here. And we got some new additions to the top 25. West Virginia's in, UCLA's in, and Nebraska's in. Wow. 
And man, Miami got some first place votes? That's not cool. Let's see who's in the Heisman watch. Wait, Cardiac Arrest. Wait, did Penn State lose? Oh, no, wait, that, that, that's not... It's Pittsburgh. Oh, well. Whatever. But Heisman watch. Um, the halfback of uh, Kansas State's in the lead. Chris Gamble's stock is going up. Uh, Michael Jenkins is staying below. And Oh, my goodness! A.J. Hawk is in the running for... Heisman? Well, of course, defensive players can get the Heisman, but we haven't seen a defensive player win the Heisman since uh, that guy, uh, Charles Woodson, from that team up north. And then you got Craig Krenzel, who's also in the running for the Heisman. So you got four Buckeyes in the running for the Heisman, and then you got this guy from Kansas State. Well, let me tell you something. One of these guys, Chris Gamble, Michael Jenkins, A.J. Hawk... Craig Grenzel, they all deserve to win the Heisman because of their talent. And look, Craig Grenzel's at 50% throwing. He's got over 1,400 yards and already 21 touchdowns in the first four games. That's something that nobody can do. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, our next game is going to be against the Northwestern Wildcats to start Big Ten play. So... With that, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of NCAA Football 2004. If you enjoyed it, smack a like on it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel, and I shall see you guys next time for more NCAA Football 2004. So with that, I'll see you guys later.